You can move over right now. You can go anywhere you want. Go anywhere you want. Not come out of the pitch yet. Easy, 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 easy. So we're on the water and leading up the back stretch now is the one Home Street Bank with Jimmy Shane. On the back stretch, just across from us on the Pasco side, is the nine Andrew Tate Les Schwab tires. Mike, let me jump in here real quick. We got, got an it. issue down here with the 11. The reliable diamond tool presents oh, Miss no. J and D's. Uh, Tom Thompson was having a hard, he came away fine, but then the fire went out. He's been trying to light the candle and it's like he's sitting at ground idle. Oh. He can't get it up on a step. He has turned it around and is headed back to the pit area right now. He's got to be up and running in a planing attitude at the one minute mark. We are 325 to the start. I'll watch him down here. He's got less than 85 here, 85 all the way around. Andrew's coming hot on your outside. Snap, then I'll let you guys take it and I'll watch Tom Thompson. This is the 27th time that Jimmy Shane and Andrew Tate have squared off against each other. Shane has won 14, Tate has won a dozen. This is a real rivalry. This, this should be a good one. And then you've got Brian Perkins, throw him in the mix. All right, watch our milling period. Let's see if anybody goes across the Esco Electric infield. It looks like Tate has come around and maybe claim lane number one. over. Stay 80, stay 80. I think Andrew's gonna be early. Dan, get on him about his 80 miles an hour. 9 to 80 miles an hour, watch it the whole time. In front of him, it's crossed over, and now he's in lane one. In fact, I think they're both in lane one. Shane uh, just running in his uh, wake there with uh, Perkins out to the right. I think he's going to go ahead and hang out at lane three and let these two figure out who's one and who's two. Well, for now, both are. <laughs> both are one. The question is about timing, though, and will Jimmy Shane cut across the course? Will anybody come through the Esco Electric DMZ? It looks like Perkins is going to be satisfied to be outside in lane number three. That's the way it looks right now. And Tate gets into you pulling auto parts turn number three. No, he's looking pretty good on time all of a sudden. Stay back, we're gonna have to get him with the roller. Stay on the course. He's not going 80 miles an hour, that's for sure. And that's gonna put Shane in lane number two, although he comes off the exit pin in lane number one. And Thompson's out of it. He's out. Yeah, really early, Nick. So Tom Thompson did not start in the U11 Reliable Diamond Tool presents J&D Hydraulics and Repair, so it's a three-boat shootout. Now, here's the question, Brad. You've got two boats, Tate in the nine, well ahead of Jimmy Shane in the one, Home Street, but they're both in lane number one, at least for now. Yeah, Shane's actually running just a, a, a hair outside of him. And the question might be, could Shane cut the course? I don't think he can cut the course from here. The timing is just not right. We're at a minute 20, so now he's moved out Shane has, and he is going to be between these two boats. I think this is the way they're going to come. Kevin, keep an eye on him, but it is Tate in one, Shane in two, Perkins on the outside three. Yeah, Shane looks like he's gone ahead and conceded lane one to you know, the U9 and Andrew Tate as he's moved out to uh, lane two here at Tire Factory Turn Two. Now watch Jimmy Shane. He's lurking well back in the one home street bank to have boat speed and maybe not have to be stuck in the tunnel between the rooster tails of the 21 and the 9 when we get to the front stretch here at the start of Heat 2B. 45 El seconds. Pueblo Market. SML Pueblo Market action. News Radio 610. He's not doing 80. I'm catching him. 610KONA.com all along the shoreline here in Kennewick and in Pasco on the public address system. 30. Swimmers need to be out of the water. Patrol boats are doing their job. Thank you for all you do. Volunteers, fantastic work. All right, the countdown is on. 20. Lane number one, Tate in the nine. Lane number two, Shane in the one. Lane number three, Perkins in the 21. At the exit pin of turn number four, Buffalo Brothers onto the front stretch to the Griggs Ace Hardware start four, finish line. Three, two, 
It's a One. clean start. A lot of air under the home street. Jimmy Shane's going to have the lead. He had to back up a little bit because he started to fly too high. Tate is right with him coming down the front stretch. Jimmy Shane's going to get down here first, but it is Andrew Tate with the lane position on the inside. Perkins is going to be behind in third. Coming to you, Kevin! And you want bounces on the water, and oh, Tate bouncing up high as well. The two of them decked it. You have one bolt lane. One and a half fault lengths, you're pulling them. As they go down the back stretch. That was an unbelievable turn. Perkins has fallen back a rooster tail from Andrew Tate. Tate is a half a rooster tail back of Jimmy Shane now, but he's on the inside lane. It is a four lap heat. It was a good start, good start. Boy, a lot of air underneath Andrew Tate. He's running it really loose on the river right now, trying to catch up as he dives into turn number three. You pull it out, of course, Buffalo Brothers turn number four. It's going to be Shane leading by a half a rooster tail. That was a perfectly executed turn by Jimmy Shane in the Home Street Bank. And he's trapping air underneath that boat, coming down the front stretch. Tate's trying to catch up, but I don't think he can reel him in. I'll tell you what, that is what an unlimited hydroplane is supposed to look like. Tons of air underneath the boat, but solid as a rock as Jimmy gets here. But Tate is hanging right. Right in lane two. Hold him in there. Hold him in there. Tate's going to get out of the exit. The turn two right now, Tate. About a half a tail, rooster tail, maybe a rooster tail behind. He is bouncing off the water, trying to fly the boat and catch up a Shane as they go down the back stretch to turn three. Yeah, it's going to have to be in the corners, and I don't know if it's going to happen. You have over five boat lengths. Over five. Hold them tight. Hold them tight. No, no overlap. Hold them tight. Of course, into turn number three. And let's see if Andrew Tate can cut into the lead a little bit with the rooster tail. You can see it's still a half a rooster tail back of Jimmy Shane. Andrew Tate just cannot eat away at the lead at all. Coming across the start finish line, now nearly a rooster tail lead for Jimmy Shane in the home street bank coming down the front stretch. Tate is making a charge. He's running loose, but I don't think he's going to reel him in. Two up and two down. We got two to go. Shane down here again. About the same lead. You've got a better view, Kevin, with Tate on the inside. Yeah, Tate gets within that rooster tail around the turn, but Shane able to hit the gas. And he is not really that slow through these turns. He doesn't have the preferred lane, but he is flying around the back stretch uh, up towards turn three. It might be a preferred lane because there might be smoother water out in that lane position a little bit farther out. It's a rooster tail lead a little bit more now for Jimmy Shane as we get ready to complete lap number three. SM Pueblo Markets, heat 2B. Jimmy Shane on the outside. Tate is making a run at him in turn number three. Whoa, he got a little bit loose heading into turn. Guys, he hit a buoy. He just hit a buoy. Keep going, keep going. Six boat length, sit boat length. Finish line, lap three is in the books. One to go for Jimmy Shane for a victory in heat three, in heat two B. One lap to go here. Jimmy Shane proving that that 163.4 was no fluke. He is on the outside and he's got a big lead now. Tate says, let him go. Take our leader around, Kevin. Yeah, that's right. He's got a rooster tail and a half now and he is so fast down here at the bottom end of the course. And he, it looks like Tate maybe was like, all right, all right. I know. And see where you're at. Okay, now I know what I need to know for tomorrow as Shane flies up the back stretch. Jimmy Shane in the one home street bank. Up to the top end of the course now with a two rooster tail lead. At the bottom end of the course is Brian Perkins. He's run a nice smooth race and he'll finish up with third place points as he exits Tire Factory turn number two. Back to Buffalo Brothers turn number four. Rattlesnake Mountains in the background. Little hate. That's what you do, man. Just relax, get your timing mark. Checkered, checkered, checkered. Atta baby. He will take it in heat 2B. Brought to you by SML Pueblo Market. Second place, Andrew Tate in the nine. Les Schwab tired across the start finish line. Still heading into turn number three and now turn number four. It is Brian Perkins in the 21. Daryl Strong presents Payne West Insurance onto the front stretch and he will gather third place points. And it's all about the points heading into tomorrow to see who's going to end up in the championship heat. The finale tomorrow afternoon for the Halfo Columbia Cup.